Hi, my name is John. I'm a humble astronomer and a broke astrophotographer. Today I'm going to show you a three-step process for collimating a Ritchie Cretion telescope. Some call it a Ritchie Crichton. I just call it an RC to be safe. Um, in trying to collimate my telescope, I actually turned the wrong screws and I miscollimated it. Uh, so I decided to turn a negative into a positive and show you how to collimate it the proper way. The only items you'll need to collimate your telescope are going to be Allen wrenches, which tends to be most of the cases for most uh, telescopes, and you will also need a um, standard laser collimator, the one that's got the target works best. Uh, this is the Orion brand, doesn't have to be this brand, uh, I just happen to like it so I bought it. And then you also need a Holly Gladder uh, laser collimator uh, with the uh, concentric circle hologram lens and we'll show you how that comes into play next. The first thing you're going to want to do is work on a uh, flat par parallel table. Uh, you can do that with a simple uh, level and uh, I've already like leveled this table so I already know it's good. Uh, what I like to do next is to actually stand at the telescope upright. This can also work for Newtonian and other forms of telescopes but one of the reasons I like to stand it upright is uh, so that when I work with the the uh, the uh, uh, laser collimator, the whole focal plane is affected the same by gravity, right down the center line. A lot of times, big mirrors can warp or bend according to gravity, and I'm sure that we've all experienced that at some point. So one of the things I'd like to do is just to um, start so that it's all pointing downward. Let's do that. Let gravity pull on it. Let's check that again. Sorry. All right. I'm going to put some pressure on here, push down a little bit, not much, and just pinch tight, not too much. And when we turn on the laser collimator, um, we can already see that the uh, laser return off the secondary mirror is not in the center of that target. And we're going to work on that next to get that centered. As we can See with the laser, if I put some flexure on here, you could see that uh, the laser dot comes back towards the center. Uh, I just want to, so that lets you know that it's at least close. What we're trying to do now is project the laser onto the secondary. And I think you could see the uh, laser just outside of the circle. And we want to get that laser into the circle. And the way we do that, and this is where I made the mistake, is we adjust these... Um, uh, these nuts here with this Allen wrench, the mistake that I made earlier was by mistake, I adjusted these outer ones, which is for the primary mirror. And that is how I threw it off. I kept adjusting them, trying to adjust this laser down here more and more, and it wasn't moving. And I really, I said, well, I better adjust it a lot just to see if it moves at all. And it didn't. Then I realized my mistake. I didn't do the inner ones. Uh, so the first adjustment are these inner screws that surround the focuser. So I'm going to get started on that. Don't know if this will take too long, but I can speed up the, uh, the camera. See, I'm going to set this back down. Okay, so now I'm adjusting the screws that surround the focuser with an Allen wrench. And this works much like a uh, Dobsonian. That's all you're trying to do. Adjust it. And then surrounding those pins, there's adjustment screws for uh, pulling it back out. So just play with the Allen wrenches and the Allen base screws and you will be okay. This way, which way is it going to go?
Okay, folks, um, uh, finished with uh, step one of the process for uh, culminating in RC. As you can see, the, uh, the little red dot is in the center of that circle. I can sleep better. I know that uh, one uh, facet of the alignment is finished. Uh, so now let's move on to the second. But something that's interesting to note, once I aligned it down here, I look up at the, at the return laser and it's already almost centered. Uh, so um, that just sh shows you how one small uh, correction down here can affect uh, the return of light. So uh, let's uh, get that into the center of the uh, target now. The next thing we need to do in the process is to uh, collimate and align the uh, secondary mirror, which is this mirror right here. And you do that by adjusting these three screws that are in these sockets here. Do not adjust this middle uh, screw. Some people uh, get that confused. That's basically gonna loosen the mirror and bring it back, but it can cause a bunch of headache if you loosen that. So just work with these three. And when you adjust each of those three, you will see that the laser here uh, starts to move. And you wanna keep moving that until uh, it gets centered. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, I'm just out of the picture adjusting the uh, three set screws that I pointed out a second ago. And uh, I'm using the Allen wrench to adjust one and see where the laser pointer goes. Let's see if there's any movement in which direction. So that moves it a uh, little bit up in that direction. I'm going to bring it back. Let's go to the one towards the side. Don't forget that in order to tighten one, you need to loose, loosen the one on the opposite side. So uh, don't forget to do that. I'm loosening one, which brought it down. Okay. And one on the opposing side, I am going to tighten. Right, and that was uh, was pretty simple. And now it is in the center of the target. I could probably move it a smidgen again so that I sleep better at night. Uh, it's just how I operate. I like going to bed knowing that my optics are superb. Are those perfect images? That's pretty good. Can't complain. I guess we can always complain, but let's just get it a little bit better. Okay. And that should be about it. So that completes step two in the process. So just so that we're on the same page, step one was we get this laser into the center. You can still see it there. And then we adjust these three set screws so that the laser is back in that center hall. Now we're going to do the third and most difficult process, the primary mirror. Now we're going to start the last and third process on how to culminate the primary mirror, which is this big mirror that's in the back here. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. One is with a special laser culminator uh, that uh, has concentric circles on it. Uh, but you may not have that. So one easy, cheap way to do it is uh, to remove any eyepieces from your scope. And then using your eyeball, I can probably even use a camera like I'm doing right now, and look at the uh, down the tube. And you'll notice that the secondary is off. Now, I'm purposely moving the camera back and forth, but that's about centered. And you will see that the secondary is not uh, in the center. It's even off to the left a little bit. And the way we get everything centered is we adjust now the primary mirror screws that I'm pointing out right now. Um, and as you turn and adjust those, you'll actually see all this shift. Uh, and uh, it's gonna hard, be hard to do manually while holding a camera. So I'm gonna use the uh, concentric uh, rings from the laser uh, culminator. And that's gonna be more explanatory. So stay tuned.
third and final step in the process is to uh, culminate the primary mirror. And you do that by using a Harry Gladder culminator. Uh, you just remove the basic lens attachment. It's a standard uh, culminator with the uh, red dot, uh, but you remove the uh, lens that's in front. And you install the uh, concentric circle uh, holograms. Costs around 70 bucks. Screw that into the front. And as you can see, it then projects circles onto a flat surface. So I think you already get an idea of where this is headed. Uh, I'm gonna insert that face down into the telescope. You tighten it, make it just slightly tight, not over tighten it, you don't wanna pinch it. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is point it at a flat surface. Just take it easy. This is my baby. And let's turn it on. Now I'm gonna dim the lights uh, so it's easier to see. There we go. So you probably can't tell unless I point it out, but uh, this circle uh, begins to disappear on the outer edge, and I'm having a similar problem with this inner one. Uh, and I also notice an X here, and a little red dot here, and I probably wanna get that into the center of this and have a nice, everything aligned along that X. Uh, let's, let's start that process. This is where I align these outer screws now. So we loosen one side. Remember, you have to loosen one side in order to tighten on another side. So I want to make this kind of swing uh, to the upper, upper right. See how that works. I don't know, maybe on this side. Okay. There we go. about there. After I've loosened the screws and I've adjusted my targets so they look pretty concentric, I then tighten down the uh, lock screws. Looks good. got the outer circle. It's a little thing here. That's okay. I can see it now. And they all seem pretty concentric, but let's take a look and make sure they are. It's probably not necessary to count in between, just the first inner and the outer. And that is about uh, exactly five-eighths of an inch. If I go to the outer one, it is five-eighths of an inch. And I'm guessing on this side too, if I did it correctly, Five eighths of an inch to five eighths of an inch. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a culminated telescope. Uh, 
I hope that was of benefit to you and thank you for watching.